does the enjoyment is a naturally occurring chromosome of Ajmin in which a person has an extra copy of chromosome 21. Um, I think dance syndrome is all different kinds of people, like different shapes, sizes, colours, and they just be who they are and don't discriminate um, other people. They got lots of um, people around that you could talk to, to see they could find, help you to find a job that you like. And I work at childcare. So it would have been about two, about two years and I'm enjoying it. I had to go through EPIC and they asked me what my dream job was and I said childcare. I am about to start um, studies and training um, by type online, which I'll be doing. It's taking a bit longer to start, but I am getting there. It's just something that you enjoy and you have lots of um, good times. On Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, I work at Green Slope Coast. Um, actually, it's, it's also a good location, by the way. It's, it's not that far where I live. I just uh, had to walk up and down. It's about five minutes walk. But yeah, no, uh, it's uh, really good, actually. Yeah, I make some good friends. Yeah. I want to be like an um, Olympic swimmer. I just want to do all the different Olympic sports. Uh, I, I, know, I know I'm a swimmer, but I'm not just a swimmer. I'm also a runner. I always love sometimes, you know, some ups and downs with that. And sometimes it can be like a roller coaster. <laughs> so I've got a boyfriend and it has been seven years for us to be together. Um, so I met him at a cooking class and we started to go from there, started messaging first and and a few days ago, it, it was on lunch club, um, everyone was on it and he told everyone that I had a special person and he said, I have a special person that I might have as a girlfriend and I was just fixing something, maybe my shoes or something, and everyone looked at me, so. Well, when I achieve my goals to keep working for the Dancing Room in Queensland and keep doing more work with them, like more and more work, that keep me, it's a perfect instruction to keep me busy, like a hobby. It's more about the team because I like seeing the DSQ team like my best friends to me like a family. I do a lot of goals. Um, like my wife and my jobs I do and um and also focus on my things like cooking food, my own and um doing washing especially. I do my own washing as well. Um every um well not was every time, but sometimes other times I do. Um and sometimes I go to um well because I've got my own bank card, and I also I also go sh um, shopping. Like I might say, like grocery shopping my own. So I buy my own things and cook my own food. My, like, like I said, my I cook my own breakfast, dinner, um, and the afternoon tea and other things that I cook. Uh, and I make my I make my I make my own lunch as well. So I do that as well, and I'm always, I'm always a clean person. So I clean like vacuuming. As one of them doing like some housework and I sometimes help out with my mum um do housework sometimes like doing um, putting the garbage bins out and um I do those things. I do, I do all those things as well. First night when I had my unit, my brother Alistair stayed for one night. It was okay but I just don't want him to be around with me a lot. <laughs> and every second weekend my mum Susie stays over for three nights with me. And it has been nice to spend time with my mum. Some days are like busy, but this weekend is actually a cruisy day, so it has been okay. Actually, for fun, I just love watching the football with my brother. Yeah, I love doing that. Very my cowboy shirt, having a beer. I, I'm also on YouTube. One of my friends, um, he take a video on his phone of me. I was actually doing like um, a dance competition 
and one of them was also singing also. So um, actually, for me, I came I came first, and he came second. Yeah, because of course I'm the best dancer. Some people can do live start to live on their own um, if they like to and enjoy it. Um, but I think it's good um, to see what they want to do first before they decide how they want to live independently. I just love being on my own and I know it feels strange to be on your own but um, mommy and parents might not be, be very far away um, and you can still talk to them. Yeah, I lived, I lived in my own for ages. So I moved out of my mum's home downstairs and then into a unit at Stepper Heights with me and my cats. Being independent, you can get around places like um, the shops, your friends' places and the city. They can. Um, they could just work out what they want to have for food and they could prepare it. I do like cooking. Out in the world, I, I um, got a job, I got education and I went for schooling. And now I'm working with uh, the most professional team now. It's not as scary as you think. Um, when medical professionals come at you with a lot of different things that your life will look like, it seems very scary, but it's really not that scary. It's fun. It's, it's different. It really is different to a journey with another child, maybe typical child but it's so much fun and it's, it's just a, a different road, but all kids are different and it will be okay and you will have fun and you will laugh and you will have kisses still and you will have cuddles and you will completely love your child. Yeah, she's just a normal kid with a little bit extra, so <laughs> um, a lot more happy and um, yeah she gives the best hugs and uh, yeah she's well you wouldn't trade it. I've also learned um, just how wonderful uh, and incredible um, a child with Down syndrome is and how much they enrich the family life and above all just um, how similar they are to typical children. So my son is now 27 um, he is living independently, he's working in open employment, he was fully included in regular schools, um, has the widest group of friends uh, of anyone. So he is absolutely a people person, he's involved with youth group and gym and soccer and a pile of things and um, he lives with a non-disabled housemaid and has a really regular life. The truth about what it's like to be a parent to someone with Down syndrome is it's actually really quite similar to being a parent to any child. That's a really easy statement to say, but when I look at, I've got two boys, um, they're three years apart, and the way I parent Charlie and the things I have to do for Charlie are quite similar to the things that I have to do for his older brother, William. There's definitely additional requirements for Charlie in terms of assisting him with early intervention to learn some of the things that we kind of take for granted. Being a parent of a sassy young woman with Down syndrome, I have to say uh, my daughter's been the making of me and she has opened so many doors in my life that I'm definitely the richer for it. And sometimes she really annoys me and I really annoy her. And other times, you know, we're, we're great mates. So it's just the same as having another kid in your family. Um, and for me, it's been a joy. It's hard to explain, but I think we thought that because April would have an intellectual disability, she might have less of a personality, um, but that couldn't be further from the truth. She's, you know, so similar to her sister. She's affectionate, she's fun. Um, she wants, she's very curious about the world. She gets frustrated when she can't do things. Um, and, you know, she, she is working on her own timeline and it does take her longer to do some things but um, 
she's, it's less different than we thought it would be. So a day in the life of our family looks probably pretty similar to a lot of other families. You know, my husband and I both work full time. Our, our boys both go to school. Um, and so we're a busy family of four. Um, our boys are really active, you know, Charlie and Will get along really well. Um, and, you know, everyday life just is quite normal, to be honest lived experience and advocating for someone that can't always advocate for themselves gives my life and my husband's life a purpose that um, I'm, I'll forever be grateful for. They're just like any other siblings. Scarlett's three years old, she adores her younger sister. She doesn't know she has Down syndrome, she doesn't think she's different in any way. And April just, Scarlett's her favourite person in the world.